hello my name is Violet Okolacha and this morning I'm going to be teaching you subcutaneous insulin now before I teach you subcutaneous insulin I'm super elated guys last month alone we took 42 students for our online training and you won't believe it we got all passes in first attempt I will just post their comments on the group, on the screen. If I read it, we will not leave here, okay? So now, guys, without wasting any time, let me teach you subcutaneous injection. Ryan Little. <laughs> Alright, but before I do that, I just want to let you know, if you are preparing for your OSCE exam, you have passed. Losses. A brilliant and OSCE is simple. So now you come in for your OSCE exam and the assessor says you are starting with subcutaneous injection. Remember, you can start with anything. You can start with assessment, you can start with skills, you can start with professional value, you can start with evidence base. Now she says you're starting with subcutaneous injection. She says, look at the wall. Can you see your wiki paper and glove? She says, look at the chair. Did you see your patient on the chair? She says, look at the bed or look at the table. Your paperwork, everything is on the table. I've assembled all the equipment you'll be needing on the bed. And she says, do you have any questions? You see, you know. She said, the time allocated to the station is 12 minutes. Now she says, your time starts now. Immediately, she says, your time starts now. Your exam starts. So let's go. Number one, send safety. Number two, I provide privacy for my patients. You're not drawing any curtains, you just verbalize it. Number three, I will do my hand hygiene according to World Health Organization. So I put an ample amount of gel in my hands. Everybody, palm to palm, back of hands, back of hands, interlaced, interlocked. Interlocked rotation of the thumb, rotation of the thumb, tips to the finger, tips to the finger, in the ribs, my hands are clean. Number four, I will pick up my grief on the table and I will read. It says you are visiting a new patient at home who requires insulin. Patient blood glucose is 5.0. All equipment you need is provided. Please administer the medication using the prescription chart below. Assume 100 mg per unit of insulin is equivalent to 1 mil. Kindly administer 8 international units. So you see, this patient is at home. So now I go over to my patients. Hello. Hello. My name is Violet and I'm one of the nurses that will be looking after you today. Can I please ask you to tell me your full name, your date of birth and your first line of address Why I double check with my paperwork please. Okay. Ellie Brew, 15 to 1940, 1st Street Street, Berkshire. Assessor, I have here Ellie Brook. Date of birth, 15 February 1940. Address, 1 Sweet Street, Beckershire. Assessor, I have the right patients. Mrs. Ailey, can I just ask you please, do you have any allergies please? No, no. Beautiful. I'm very happy to see you don't have any allergy. Now, I am here this morning to administer your subcutaneous insulin. Is this a convenient time? Yes. Beautiful. So, insulin is actually used to treat high blood sugar or hyperglycemia. It does have some side effects. The side effects are dizziness, drowsiness, palpitation, low blood glucose. Are you still happy to have them, please? Yes, ma'am. Beautiful. Can you just show me where to wash my hands if that's okay? Over there. Beautiful. Now, if you need me, just give me a shout. All right? Okay. Beautiful. Now, I will quickly read my prescription chart, then go and wash my hands. So, this is the prescription chart for any Brook. Address is 1 Sweet Street, Beckershets. Date of birth is 15 February 1940. Allergies is known. Prescriber is Dr. Peter Jones. 
Medication is insulin, dose 100 units per meal. Signature Dr. Peter Jones due today at 14 o'clock. Signature date and time all present. Assessor, this prescription chart is valid, it is legible, and I'm happy to what I'm happy to administer. Now I'm gonna be doing my second hand IJ according to World Health Organization. So I'll put an ample amount of gel in my hands and I will go palm to palm, back of hands, back of hands, interlaced, interlocked, interlocked, rotation of the tongue, rotation of the tongue, tips to the finger, tips to the finger, and the wrist. My hands are clean. I will put on my apron quickly. I will tie it to my back. I will quickly put on my gloves. Assessor, can you please confirm with me? That all my equipment are cleaned and ready for use. Beautiful. Now I'm going to validate all my equipment. So everybody, if you look at this, it has all been set up for me. If not, it has been set up for me. If I come and the tray is empty, I would have used this cleaner wipe to clean the tray and you will set it up. But it's already been set up for me. So I'm going to validate them. The first thing I'm going to validate is my gauze. You can see the expiry date. Uh, is it showing? The expiry date of this gauze is it showing? Mm -mm. Can you make it show? No, just bring it closer. Is it showing? Yeah. The expiry date is 2030. I'm happy to use. This is my needles. Is the expiry date of this needle showing? No, bring it closer. Is it showing? Yeah. The expiry date of this needle is 2027-0930. Is it showing on the camera? I'm happy to use. I keep it down. This is my insulin pen. The expiry date is it showing? 07 2026. Is it showing? Yeah. I'm happy to use. Now I've read the expiry date of this insulin. I'm still going to compare it with the prescription charts. Insulin, insulin. We must do a comparison. I'm happy to use. Now, this is my plaster. My plaster does not have a spirit date. So, who validates it is the assessor. So, I'm going to ask the assessor, can you confirm with me that my plaster is valid and ready for use? Yes. Beautiful. And this is my sharp box. And, of course, I have my pen here. So, now, I've assembled and I've validated all my equipment. So, I will take this and go back to my patients. Hello, Mrs. Ailey. I am back. Are you still happy for us to continue, please? Yes, yes. Beautiful. Can I just ask you to reconfirm for me a second time your full name, your date of birth, and your first line of address, please? Helen Brook, 15-1940, One Street Street, Berkshire. Assessor, I still have the right patient. I can see here that my patient does not have any allergies assessor i have completed all the rights of medication right patient right drug right dose right route and right time beautiful so the first thing i'm going to do is what is to prepare my insulin now how do we prepare the insulin you have to do what you have to waste two units we call it priming so you have to what you have to waste two units we call it what we call it priming so on pause read to prime yes please look at the camera for me and we must prime it with how many units two units very compulsory so i will take this cover off you can see it i put this cover on the table this is my needle i will take this paper off this paper of the needle where does it go please this goes into the black waste i'll put it in my imaginary black waste now now i will attach it to this needle you can see is it showing is the needle showing i'm going to attach it now so you keep rolling it now i finish what i finish attaching it now i'm going to turn it to two units can you see it's at zero is it showing is at zero yeah so i'm going to turn it to two units one two now everybody can you see it's at two units yes is it showing is at two units can you see it's at two units so remember we must prime it with what with two yeah, units right. Now, so I'm going to remove this. This can go where it can go into the black waste. That's the covering covering the needle. So now 
I'll put it in my imaginary black waist. So now I'm ready to prime. When we are priming, what do we do? You just push it down. So I'm going to prime and you see fluid coming out. So I'm priming, I'm pushing this down, I'm priming. Did you see? I finished priming. Now, did you see it return to zero? Yes, did you see any return to zero? Yeah. Good. So now I'm going to turn it to eight units. I'm going to keep turning it until it gets to eight. Because our prescription says kindly administer eight units. The dose is 100 units per meal. But look, insulin comes in 100 units per meal. Is it showing on the camera? It comes in 100 units per meal. They said kindly administer eight units. So it's at eight units. So look the first time, look the second time, look the third time. Now I'm going to show this to my assessor. Assessor, can you please confirm with me? that I have eight international units of insulin. Yes. Beautiful. Now I'm going to go over to my patient. So Mrs. Ailey, can I please assess the skin? Okay. Beautiful. You assess the skin, I can assess your skin. No redness, no swelling, no infection, no palpable venous cord. Now, just to let you know, subcutaneous injection has two sides. Is it that you give it on the stomach or you give it on the hand? You are not the one to choose where to give it to. The assessor will tell you you are going to administer this injection on the stomach or she tells you to administer it on the hand. Now, for our case today, she said we should administer it on the stomach. So I've assessed the stomach, no redness, no swelling, no infection, no palpable venous cone. Now, assessor, the skin is what? Visibly clean. So now, I'm going to bend down so that you can see. I'm going to pinch the skin into folds, insert my needle at an angle of what? 90 degree. So I've assessed the skin, I've analyzed the skin blade skin, I pinch it off with inside the needle at an angle of what? 90 degree. And I'm going to give slowly for how many seconds? 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I will remove immediately. And where does this go? The sharp box. I put it in the sharp box. I will quickly do what? I will cover my insulin. Mrs. Amy, can I just ask you quickly? Do you want gauze or plaster? Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful. I'm going to take my gauze. And I will take my plaster. And I will plaster the patients. Now, Mrs. A.E., I'm going to ask you to give me a minute. Let me do what? Let me sign. Everybody with my apron and my glove on, I'm going to do what? I'm going to sign. I put my signature. I put my day. They said, assume it is today. So I'm going to write today's date, 13th of uh, August. August 25, and the time is 14 o'clock. I will look the first time, look the second time, look the third time that I've signed correctly once you are sure you have signed correctly can you see i've signed everything i need to sign now i'm going to tell the patient mrs Haley, i'll be around for 30 minutes in case you need me should the case i'm no longer around you can call 999 or you can call 111 or you can call your gp all right so i said so i take out my apron I take out my glove and it goes away, it goes straight to the clinical waist. Now, I know some of you will say, why are you signing with your apron and your glove? See, it's an exam. Remember, the exam is time. Recently, I had a student who failed because she took off her apron and glove, did her hand hygiene, and wanted to sign, and the assessor said her time was up. She messaged me on YouTube, I've left her now with my training, and she has passed. So, if you have any queries, do not hesitate to drop it. In the comment section so thank you very much don't forget to share with your friends preparing for all ski exam i will see you in another of our youtube video all right so this goes remember in the clinic comments until i see you again keep passing your ski exam i love you all bye